Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So this is the second lecture and the first part. And the title of our course is Statistics and Probability Theory. Course code is MTH262. Review of the previous lecture. In previous lecture, we have studied statistics. Definition of the statistics, which was uh, that uh, statistics is an art or science used for the selection, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of numerical data. Uh, we have studied the uh, descriptive and inferential statistics, primary and secondary data. Uh, primary data is the first hand information, discrete and continuous data. And uh, uh, then we have started uh, the presentation of data in which we have learned that there are three methods to represent the data. If you want to represent the ungrouped data, then there is fiction method. And uh, if it is the grouped data, then you can make the frequency distribution and you can make graphs uh, as well. We will continue with the topic presentation of data. Frequency distribution. Now, frequency distribution is the process of making ungrouped data a group data. Uh, basically, what you are doing, you are converting your ungrouped data into Grouped data. So, what is the frequency distribution? A frequency distribution table is a table which shows the data arranged into different classes or categories and the number of cases or frequencies which fall into each class. So, if uh, you concentrate on this, this is the frequency distribution. Uh, uh, right now, at this stage, we are not uh, concentrating on how to make the frequency distribution. Just concentrate that this is a frequency distribution and what are its main features. So these are the uh, quiz scores of 50 students in geometry. So these are the scores and these are classes. This is lower class limit. Lower class limit. And this is upper class limit. So here lower class limit is 3 and here is 5. This is lower class limit and this is 6 and this is upper class limit. Frequency as these are the scores of 50 students. So, it means that uh, the scores between 0 and 2 and there is only one student which lie in this class. Uh, basically, what we have done, we have uh, classified the scores. This is the first class which means the marks between 0 and 2. This means the marks between 3 and 5. This is between 6 and 8. There is only one student in the class which falls in this category. That means who have marks between 0 and 2. There are two students in the class who have marks between 3 and 5. Uh, there are 15 students in a class who have marks between 9 and 11. If you sum this, usually we denote this frequency with small f. If you sum this 1 plus 2 plus 13 plus 15 plus 19 summation f 
it will be 50. As there are 50 students in the class. Class midpoints or you can say them class marks. These are class marks and class mark can be found by adding lower class limit plus upper class limit whole divided by 2 add as this is the midpoint of the class so what is the first one 0 is the lower class limit and 2 is the upper class limit so this will be equal to 0 plus 2 divided by 2 this would be equal to 1 so this is a uh, class mark of the first class. This is class mark of the second class. This is class mark of the third class. 6 plus 8 divided by 2. So this is the way to find out the midpoints of the class or class mark. Class boundaries. Class boundaries are usually made to um, make the uh, to fill the gap between the classes. As you can see that these are the classes. This class is from 0 to 2 and uh, next one is from 3 to 5. There is a gap between 2 and 3, 5 and 6, 8 and 9. To fill up this gap, what we have done, we will find out the class mark. The way to find class mark is x plus minus h by 2. Sorry, this is not class mark. This is class boundary. Uh, this is the way to find out the class boundary. And as you know that class mark uh, is uh, the, by, it can be found out by adding the lower class limit plus upper class limit divided by 2 and we denote class mark with x. And what is this? H. H is the class width or class interval. H is class width or you can say it class interval or class size as well. So what is uh, the way to find out the class width? Whenever you subtract two consecutive lower class limits or two consecutive upper class limits, you will get the class width or class size or size of the class or you can say it's class interval as well. 3 minus 0, it is 3. These are two consecutive lower class limits. Or you can say these are also consecutive 6 minus 3. This is also equal to 3 and this is also equal to 3. Similarly, you can subtract two consecutive upper class limits 5 minus 2. This is also 3. 8 minus 5. This is also 3. 11 minus 8. This is also 3. So this is the way to find out the class width. As you can see that all the classes have same class interval or class width. But uh, it can also possible that classes have different class width. But this is the most convenient and most appropriate way to keep the class width of all classes same. As you can see from this table that class width is same for each class. 
so how to find the class boundary x plus minus h by 2 x is class mark h is class interval or you can say class width so the very first class mark is 1 this is 1 minus as these are boundaries so you will have lower class boundary and upper class boundary as you know h is 3 so this is 3 by 2 and upper class boundary is x plus h by 2 this will be 1 plus 3 by 2 so this will be equal to minus 0.5 and this will be equal to 2.5. Similarly, you can find out for the remaining classes. So, if you make the column of class boundaries here by calculating in this way, you will find out this is minus 0.5 to 2.5 this is lower class boundary and this 2.5 is upper class boundary next one will be 2.5 to 5.5 the next one will be 5.5 and it will be till 8.5 8.5 till 11.5 and last one would be 11.5 till 14.5 so these are the class boundaries uh, these are the class limit, lower class limit and upper class limit. This is lower class boundary and this is upper class boundary. As you can see that now the gap is filled. This is 2, next one is 3, 5, 6, now this is 2.5, this is 2.5, 5.5, 5.5. This is the way to construct the class boundary. Now some points you should keep in mind in making the frequency distribution. Be sure that the classes are mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive means classes should be non-overlapping. Include all classes even if the frequency is zero. It means that if any of the class within the classes, it means uh, these are all classes and in between these classes, if some class has zero frequency, you should include it in the table. Don't omit it. Select the, uh, try to use the same width of all the classes. It would be most uh, appropriate. Select convenient numbers for class limits. Use between 5 and 20 classes. You can find out in literature that minimum classes should be 5 and maximum classes should be 20. The sum of the class differences must equal the number of original data values. So, to construct a frequency distribution, first of all, at very first stage, decide on the number of classes. Then, determine the class width, which will be uh, equal to range divided by number of classes. And what is range? Highest score minus lowest score. It means the highest value in your data minus lowest value in your data will be equal to range, so range divided by number of classes will be equal to class width or you can say that class interval and always round up the number. For example, if you get 4.5 here, so round it to 5. If you get 2.1, so round it to, round up it to 3. So this is the way to find out the class width. Select for the first lower limit either the lower score or a convenient value slightly less than the lowest score. To select the very first uh, lower class limit, that is, this is the very first lower class limit, this is 0. 
in selecting it, use the lowest value in your data or you can take any convenient value uh, or which should be less than the lowest score. If you take the value greater than the lowest score, then the lowest score will not include it in the class. So be aware of this that by selecting the lower class unit, it should be the lowest number in your data or the number less than the lowest number in your data. Add the class width to the starting point to get the second lower class limit. Add the width to the second lower limit to get the third and so on. List the lower class limit in a vertical column and enter the upper class limit. Represent each score by a tally mark in the appropriate class. Total tally marks to find the total frequency for each class.